University of Cambridge International Examinations is the world's largest provider of international education programs and qualifications for 5 to 19 year olds. We work with thousands of exams officers in over 160 countries. At Cambridge, we understand how important exams officers are. Without you, it would be impossible to successfully run and administer our exams. This video is part of the range of tools we're developing to help you through the Cambridge exams cycle. I've been a Cambridge exams officer for about seven months now. My role encompasses everything to do with the, running the exams within the school. So I'll make entries, um, I'll make access arrangements for children who have special needs, uh, I'll receive the exam papers and store them, uh, I'll get the exam started on the exam during the exam sessions, I'll dispatch exam papers, once uh, exam scripts once the exam's been completed, uh, and then I'll follow up if people have any queries about marking and getting papers remarked. The first part of this video explains when you will get your question papers. The second part shows what you need to do to store them safely. Ordering your question papers. Our quality assured process means the question papers you get match the entries you make. We monitor the dispatch of question papers very carefully to ensure that every centre receives all of the papers they need. Exams officers shouldn't worry if they don't receive all of their papers in the initial dispatch. If they have made late entries, we will make sure that we pick up the papers they need in a later dispatch. There are five simple steps to make sure you get the question papers you need. Step one, you submit your final entries. Step two, the final entries deadline passes. We wait for a couple of weeks to make sure we capture all the final entries. Step three, we then run a report that lists all the question papers we need to send out to centers. Step four, the question papers are carefully and securely packaged and then dispatched to more than 160 countries worldwide. Step 5. After the first dispatch of question papers, we run reports approximately every two weeks to capture late entries and amendments. The last dispatch we make captures any late entries or amendments made on the final late entries deadline. For late entries and amendments, we only send more question papers if necessary. There may be enough in your original dispatch. We cannot send question papers for entries or amendments made after the late entries deadline. Cambridge's process for dispatching exam papers is very simple for exams officers. We make our entries um, and then we can rest assured that we will have the papers delivered. Obviously we, we need to check them when they do arrive at the centre and make Cambridge aware if we believe that we haven't received anything we should have done. But normally it goes very smoothly and we receive what we're expecting. Summary. Question papers for entries made by the entries deadline arrive in the initial dispatch. Question papers for late entries and amendments arrive in separate dispatches. Question papers for late entries and amendments made on the final late entries deadline arrive in a final dispatch. Receiving and storing your question papers. There are four simple steps to follow. Step one. Cambridge question papers are delivered to your school by courier. When the courier arrives, make sure you check the dispatch carefully. Step two, together with another member of staff or your head of center, check that your center number and address are clearly displayed on the outer packaging, that the packaging is not damaged in any way. Check to make sure no one has tried to open it and that you have the correct number of boxes according to the dispatch note. If there are any problems with your dispatch, let us know straight away. Keep a record that you have checked your dispatch. Get whoever checked the dispatch with you to sign and date it, and then do so yourself. Keep it somewhere safe, as we may ask to see it at some point. Before you store your question papers, 
check the unopened packets against the timetable to make sure you have everything you need. It is also a good idea to sort them into timetable order. Do not open the packets until the time of the exam. Step 3. You and your head of centre are responsible for the security of your question papers and any other confidential exam materials. The Cambridge Handbook gives clear instructions for storing question papers. Follow them carefully. Question papers must be stored unopened in a strong safe or lockable metal container that cannot be removed from the room. The safe or container must be kept in a room in a fixed building with solidly built walls, ceilings and floors. The door to the room must be solid and fitted with a secure lock. Ideally, the secure room should be on the upper floor with no internal or external windows. If there are windows, they must be fitted with bars or the room must have an alarm system. When our question papers arrive, um, I'll check that they're all present from the dispatch notes and then I'll take them to our secure office where we store the papers. Uh, which is always kept locked and that only myself and the head of centre have keys to this office. We have a filing cabinet which is secured to the ground and has a locking bar which uh, I remove and store the papers within the filing cabinet, re-lock it again, lock the door and don't let anybody enter that office. Exams officers need to be aware that it's of paramount importance that their exam scripts are kept safe. Um, they must be locked away following the guidelines in the uh, Cambridge Handbook and no access must be given to them under any circumstances. Step 4. Remember, do not open your question papers until the relevant examination. If you suspect that any of your question paper packets have been opened by mistake or intentionally, please contact us straight away. Cambridge provides a lot of resources for exams officers to help them get things right in their exam centres, uh, such as the handbook for centres, FAQs and other advice available online, and we have a customer services team here in Cambridge if there are problems, that queries that can't be answered any other way. Summary. Question papers are delivered to your school by courier. Check the dispatch carefully with another member of staff. Store your question papers unopened in a very secure place. Do not open your question papers until the relevant examination. It's important that our exams officers work within the regulations and comply with them fully to ensure the integrity and security of our exams worldwide, which gives candidates across the globe confidence in our qualifications. For more information, take a look at your Cambridge Handbook and Cambridge Administrative Guide. These guides are updated each year. Alternatively, you can ask CIE on our website or email our customer services team.